Hey guys, welcome back to Angry Mac Adventures. Well, in this video, we're doing a bit of a diagnostic. So we ended up going up to Exmouth uh, on our New Year's holidays, hoping we could get some wicked uh, fishing videos on the new vessel. But we actually ran into a couple of problems. Um, we actually got water in the fuel, the warning lights come on and that was it for us. So we brought it back in the shed and broke it down for you guys. So hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake. Let's get straight into it. A great thing about the Evinroot E-Tex is their safety mode or their limp mode. When it's not performing at 100%, it either alerts the driver by cutting the engine off or setting off an alarm to prevent any damage. When I was in Exmouth, the engine went to limp mode, signalling that I did have water in the system, and that comes down to three things. One, contaminated fuel from the Bowser. Two, condensation. Or three, coming from your filler cap or breather. You can see the fuel separator system's definitely doing its job. Check this out. So last night we emptied all the fuel out of the fuel tank and now I've just ran the engine um, to get rid of all the fuel in the system. I don't want any fuel left uh, from the last tank. So I've took out the, the fuel water separator and my cousin um, works at a marine shop. He went and um, told me to, to buy this one here which is a full see-through water separating filter kit. So you can see exactly what's going on. We had quite a bit of water getting in the fuel tank somehow. I was still trying to work that out. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the filters. We're going to put fresh fuel in there. I also got a new fuel cap as well. So the old man's actually made this on the lathe last night. So the new fuel cap sits um, just a little bit higher. So no water's gushing, trying to get forced inside here. So we've lifted it about 15 mil. So we'll bolt that down today. And we've also got to get a new breather as well. So I went to um, the boat shop and bought a new one. And check this out. These here, I've got like these little mesh filters. Whereas this one here, this one here doesn't. So that's just another example of where water could have got through. So I'm definitely gonna put a new one on, but I need to work out whereabouts I'm gonna put it. Cause I think that's a terrible, terrible location. Alrighty, the fittings are all on. And I'm not sure you can see, but that O-ring there, it's actually a float to show you how much water's in the system. So um, water is heavier than fuel and uh, that actually does not float in fuel. So as soon as you know you got water in the fuel, that's when that starts to rise, which is a pretty cool little feature. So thanks to Mark, we've got an external fuel tank. Um, we're just gonna hook that up now. Just gonna fill this up. Okay, it's quite cool. Let's look at the tank. Sounds a lot better, that's for sure. So Uncle Steve wanted to make sure that there was no flat spots after putting in the fresh fuel and it sounded pretty good to him. So we went out to the Swan River to test it out. How you going mate? Alrighty, we're out here with my brother Matthew. Um, we got a couple of crab pots, so maybe we can get ourselves a feed while we're out here. But, um, Today's job is just to make sure that the engine's running good. Bit of chicken. So we're in 4.6 meters. Alright, slow down. We're just gonna slow them down a bit. Alright, throw them in. I'm testing the boat because we had a couple of fuel problems. Um, water was getting into the tank and Surprisingly, a $16 breather was letting in the water. And of course, water is heavier than fuel and that was the first thing to get sucked up. So, um, shit like that happens. Um, I'll learn from it. I've got a brand new filter. I've got a brand new separator. I've got a brand new breather and a brand new fuel cap just to make sure um, everything's sweet. 
because I do not want to have this problem again, um, especially when I have people on board as well. So um, we're just putting in some of Mum's chicken cutlet, chicken. Um, we're not prepared for this. We just thought we'd, we'd come out for a crab um, while we've got the pots. So we'll try and get a couple of crabs and see how we go. But it's a beautiful night. Uh, it's a little bit choppy out this one, but uh, the crabbing is absolutely fine. Let's see how we go. Let her rip. Let's go. Come on. No. Nah. Alright, first one. Holy jellyfish, man. Yes, big. Oh, ooh, nice. Nice. Oh, he's a holy shit! Oh, he's a beauty! Oh, sorry about biting. Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Grab it. <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Man. That's awesome, man. Hey, bro, are we gonna get one? Very good. That's big <laughs> boy. Nice. Well, there we go. Throw him back out, man. Throw the crab. I ain't throwing the crab anyway. <laughs> I meant the I meant the pot. I said throw the crab out. Oi mate! Oi. Oh, oh what's got, wrong? Oh you got me, eh? Oh, I think he's you still got the blood. Oh, oh, that's, a, oh, that's a big crab. Oh, you alright? Oh yeah, he got some. Oh he got oh, you. both sides, bruh. Oh he got you good. Alrighty guys, last night we took Angry Mac 2 out uh, to make sure that the engine still runs 100% after cleaning out the fuel system and yeah, engine's all good. So we also got a couple of crabs last night which was a bit of a bonus. But now we're going to hook up um, the internal tank again. So we'll get rid of the external tank. Uh, we know now the engine's good. Uh, I've finished off the, the fuel cap so we've put a, a 10, 15 mil razor on there. Thanks to the old man for doing that in the lay and also a brand new breather. So the internal tank is completely siphoned out. There's still a little bit of stuff on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put 20 liters of fresh fuel in and just pump it out with like a little inline 12 volt pump and circulate the fuel and try and get as much of that gunk out. Um, it's okay if you don't get 100% of it out. That's what the, the fuel separator filter is there for. Um, but I'll try and get as much of it out and then I'll hook it back up so it's ready to go. Alrighty, so this is the basic setup. Uh, it comes down to a fuel separator and pumps through to just another jerry can. I've got a fire extinguisher just in case, but we're just going to hook it up to a 12 volt battery with some jumpers. Uh, put some fresh fuel in. We've got about 10 litres here of fresh 98 fuel. We're going to throw straight into the fuel cap. And it's just going to come down uh, and pump straight through the fuel separator into the jerry. And I'm hoping that we can catch um, the last bit of water and a uh, little bit of debris that's sitting inside the tank. So after putting in about 30 litres through, so I've done it about three times, um, this is all that's come out of the tank, which is just a little bit of um, gunk on the bottom there. So, but I'm more than happy with that. Obviously the filter's gonna pick that sort of stuff up. That could be, could have been from like the old fuel lines and stuff like that, that have uh, started to break down, um, but they're all brand new now. So let's go hook it all back up. Alrighty guys, the internal fuel tank is now hooked up. Um, it's completely been siphoned, the engine runs good. Um, new fuel cap, new breather, hopefully we don't have any problems this time. So uh, yeah, let's get it back out there and hopefully catch some fish. Alrighty guys, see you in the next one.